morning, I'm Jennifer Murphy, the Senior Recreation Supervisor, and this morning we're here celebrating the Village Games closing ceremony. It's our 15th annual. This year we had about 365 participants uh, that are village residents participating in about 25 different competitions. Our newest competition this year was a 5K. Um, it happened this past Saturday. We had about 30 people running. There was two 87-year-olds that crossed the finish line. Very excited that in those, their 80s, they're still participating and they finished, which is amazing. We also had one gentleman who is 98, his name is Julius. He participated in the badminton competition. He's turning 99 this coming month in May. Very excited that these people that are in their 80s and 90s are still participating. This is a great opportunity for residents to still get out there and participate be social with other residents, come together, encourage each other to keep trying. Some of them are very competitive, others are just there to have a good time, but all together they make up a family. It's the village family and I'm very happy to be part of this event. As I said, this is the 15th annual, so I've been working this event for about 10 years and I've seen a lot of happy people come through and they're still participating and they're getting out there and they're being healthy and they're just being social, which is great for everybody. Pickleball and paddle tennis. Uh, I got a golden pickle and I got a golden paddle. How long have you lived in the village? Uh, since 2000. Oh, right. How many years have you been participating in the village games? You know, when they started, I can't even tell you when it started, but the first pickleball, you know, senior games that they had with lawn bowling and all that stuff, I was, I was involved. How much fun is it for you? Oh, I love it. It keeps me young and vivacious, and I love competition, and I love the people. Well, thank you. People are great. Thank you. And have you made a lot of friends? Yeah, is it play, so competitive yeah. that you guys are dogging yeah. dog yeah. out on the pickleball? No, fine. no. Yeah, every once in a while, I have somebody goes, yeah. but not really. We're all friends. It's for fun, and the fact that we can get up in the morning, and we have our bodies that we can still keep healthy. Why not? We create these shirts every year to do something a little bit different. Phyllis sewed these on, took her six hours. They're not glued, and I designed the creation, the style, and she's the sewer. And we work together, Phyllis and Julie. And why did you do that? Well, it's just because the men's shirts that they give us are so, in my opinion, not attractive. So we decided, we've been doing this for years, and they copied us this year. Right. Everyone's copying us. Do it full circle so we can see. Wow. So Bobby, you won six medals this year. Tell me what you entered. Well, uh, unfortunately, you can only enter four events this year. You know, starting last year, they had, used to could do everything, and I entered, used to enter 16 events. You did! And then I would uh, put my medals on. I'd wait for all my buddies to get in here, and then I'd put all my medals on and come in bent over. I bet. So anyway, the four events were basketball, pickleball, three events in pickleball, I mean, three categories, indoor pickleball, men's, outdoor and so on and then in tennis um, mixed doubles and men's doubles in the 80s and uh, then the last event was paddle tennis wow so and then I was uh, round robin and men's doubles how old are you I'm in my 84th year you look great <laughs> is it because you're, you're busy what did you say yeah right <laughs> Man, you're like a poster child from the Woods, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, if you go on the website, you see a guy surfing? Yeah, is that you? That's me. Okay. Laguna Beach. Nice. Now, so, you did 16 events. How many years have you been participating in the Village Games? Since about 2000. Really? Yeah, I've been here 20 years. Do you love it here? Listen, I wouldn't live anywhere else. This is the best place in the world to live. I love this place. You look as happy as a guy could be at 84. Well, it's got, I mean, in, in terms of sports, it's got everything I used to do when I was a kid, you know, and a lot more. You know, it's just perfect. I love this place. There's so much to do around here. You you just have to, it's all about priorities. You, know, you have to establish priorities. You I never do everything. I never kept a calendar until I came to here. When I came here and I started looking at the globe and I said, oh my God, you can go from 7 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. I go dancing. We like to go dancing a lot. So, you know. Really? You can go dancing every night of the week if you want. And I know people that do. How old do you feel? How old do I feel? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. I would say, I feel is that's a good question. I, I, I feel that I can still do all the things I've always done all my life. I just do them a lot slower. I, I, I tell the guys on the tennis court, 
I'm as fast as I ever was for 10 feet. That's amazing. So for people who want to participate in the Village Games but are scared or, you know, for next year, what's your advice for people as far as to get involved? What do they need to do? Well, uh, first of all, they... <laughs> They need to overcome their fear, you know, because there's always a little uh, anticipation, anticipatory fear before you right? nervousness before you start an event, you know. But just just go out there and have fun, you know. That's what it's all about. And and everybody is so friendly in this in this place, you know. I mean, and it's not about winning or losing. It's about to me. It's about having fun, you know. If I didn't get any medals, it would still be fun. How much fun did you have? Doing that? Oh, I love it. Yeah, I've got to do it every year. Yeah. How many years have you been doing it? Uh, I started last year. And you won all those medals? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. must be really good. Well, yeah, yeah. The pickleball competition is probably pretty intense, right? It is. It is, yeah. we got some serious pickleball players. Yes, yeah. And, and I play volleyball as well. Volleyball? Did volleyball. you get a medal in that too? Yeah, I got a medal. Yeah. Nice. So you're the president of the Longball Club? Yes, sir. And uh, we've got all our goals right here. Yes, they're all here. Al DeSantis is our vice president. And uh, we have some board. participated in the Village Games this year? Oh, I would say tw about 20. It was a small number this year. Was the competition stiff? Yes, for the men's uh, singles and uh, for the pairs. Because people take lawn bowling seriously. We do. Right? Yes. And how did it go? Did you have any surprise winners this year? Uh, no. No. The people that are good are tend to be They They tend to be there, right on top. You did the, the 5K. How was that for you, now that you're not sweaty and stuff? Well, <laughs> I was delirious when I talked to you. Uh, the 5K was great. Uh, I, I thought I could have done a little better. Uh, unfortunately, uh, three weeks prior to the race, I pulled the hamstring muscle, and uh, so I couldn't run. But uh, the competition was stiff there. So uh, I have to congratulate the people that, uh, John that won it, and, uh, and Tom that came in second. And then the course, you, you decided which with the course we talk about. The yes, uh, one day I was in Brian Gruner's office and we were discussing lawn bowling. And uh, I had just mentioned to him, I don't know why I did, I said, well, gee, I, I, I just finished a seven-mile run. And he says, you know, we're thinking of having a race. Would you be able to design a course? And I says, yes, I got about five or six courses. And he said, well, you think you can find something slightly flat? I says, here in the village? I'll do my best. So I came up with what I thought was probably the flattest course I could find. And was it a good course? Yes, yes. I had people just about five minutes ago walk up to me and say it was a great course. We've got some fantastic pickleball players here. Marvell, how did the pickleball go this year? Pickleball went fantastic, and everybody had a great time. Very good camaraderie among all the players. And um, Fran and I, yes, Fran and I won the silver and women's double. And we had a great time. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, so we were partners, and it's not all about the winning. It was the spirit. Uh, everybody really had a good time, and it's just like the fastest growing sport. It's a great sport. Anybody can play it. Anybody can enjoy it, and um, I love it. It's very addictive. But you did win. Yes. There's a lot of medals. What other, what other events did you enter? Uh, I also uh, entered the tennis, so I won the uh, mixed doubles um uh, and also I played uh, paddle tennis, which is also another good game. So those were the three sports. And pickleball. How old are you? 78. That is, that's ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And what's your name? She's Elaine Brady. Elaine, did you have fun this year? I had a blast. I was gone a lot, but I got to play in two events. I played in mixed doubles, and I was fortunate enough to win a gold in mixed doubles. Mixed up with what, pickleball? Pickleball. And How long then, have you been playing pickleball? I have been playing two and a half years. Who's, I, the, who's the best of the three of you? <laughs> all I, of us. I think no, we're all, all about us. the same. We're all of us. We're all equal. We're all of us. No, no. But when you play, is it competitive? Like, oh, I want to get you this time. Or are you having fun? Uh, we want to win, but we're winning with a friendly smile. Yeah. So if you lose, it's not a big deal? It's not a no, big deal. No, no, no. But you do want to win. 
We want to win. We make it competitive. Yeah. We're competitive. It has to be We're friendly. all yeah. very competitive. <laughs> Our competitive juices come out yeah. like you wouldn't believe. Right. You become yeah. a different person, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. we do. Right. We do. Right. It helps keep you young, right? The competition right. is good. It definitely yeah. keeps you on your toes and keeps yeah. you young. Yeah. Yes, definitely. And how often do you play pickleball? Well, a couple times a week. But yeah, at least three, four times a week. Yeah. And as far as people who might want to pick up pickleball, women like yourselves, what does it take to go from not playing pickleball to becoming a pickleball player? Just come out and play and have fun and meet the people uh, who are players yeah. and they are all very friendly yeah, right. and just join. It's yeah, very on. easy sport yes. to pick up. Yes. I have a six-year-old grandson that picked it up and we're almost 80 and we right. can play and we can play. And we get some competitive juices going and it keeps us happy. Yeah, right. Pickleball yes. players are right. happy people. Yeah, right. And I've taught all my grandkids, any age can play it. And it's a wonderful family thing where you can also play together. Can you bring your grandkids onto the pickleball courts in the village? Yes, I brought them all. <laughs> and we have a little family intergenerational game and it just, yeah. it's, it's, it's just fun. I mean, we have a sports you day. Uh, their competitive juices come out too, so they it's... They want to be grandma, huh? Yeah, they want to be yeah, grandma. Right, they right, do. Right. And I, their goal is to be grandma. Yeah, and I have three brothers, uh, three brothers, and there's four of us now, and we all play pickleball. They're all a little more advanced than I am, and we're going to play a tournament in October where all four of us will play. So there'll be four people from our family that'll be playing the same tournament. I and can't believe you're 84 years old. Yeah. I'm 102, actually. <laughs> How yeah. old do you feel? I feel, I, I don't know, it's, it's just a number. I mean, it's how you, you know. Yeah, perceive you, yourself. I'll tell you, living in Laguna Woods you, is really, you can't feel old. You get you got right? it? Yes, yeah. you have a right. Yes, yes. Yeah. Right, right. This is the best place yeah. in the world. It They're, is, right? Yeah, we're Pickle all, ball, power, everybody's tennis, tennis. really active, right. really active, and um, it's, you know. It, it's the place to be. Right. It's the place to be right. in retirement. Right. Yeah. You ladies are stunning. I just have to say that. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We feel blessed to be here. Yes. You are we're blessed. Lucky. Elaine Brady and I want to introduce this fabulous Hall family who have come here to Laguna Woods to live and they have quite a story so I'd love to introduce first Debbie Hall and let her tell her story about Yes, hi, my name is Debbie Hall Springer and I moved here eight years ago and then I was followed by my brother Bobby and then a couple years later by my brother Steve and we all three live on the same street. What's that like? Well, it's wonderful to have the support of my family close by and we get to play games together and we go to the gym together and walk together and it's just really comforting. Does it get any better than that? Only if my other two sisters and brother moved here, that would be the best. And are you guys competitive on the pickleball court? Completely, yes. Who wins? We do. Most of the time. But we always try each hard. Other. We, we don't try compete hard. against each other? No, we don't compete against each other. We're a team. Oh, a team. We've been a team for five years, so we play together in mixed pickleball. Wow. Yeah, my name's Bobby, and I'm the oldest of the six uh, kids, and uh, Debbie and I just recently won the uh, gold medal in the top division of pickleball. What here was that at like? The games. It, it was, I, my sister played very well, and I, I played okay, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. There was a lot of competition? There was some pretty good competition. There's we had some, 20 mixed doubles teams. There were some other pretty good teams, and some people take pickleball pretty seriously around here, and uh, we we were fortunate to, to win the thing. Why did you win? What, 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 what made that happen? I, th I think a lot of it is that, that we know each other so well, and we, we, we uh, are compatible on the court as well as off the court, and that, that's really helpful to the chemistry of a double steam is is important and we have good chemistry. And, and what about you two? Hi, you yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm Steve Hall. I'm the third son of six. I moved here two years ago and I played pickleball with my good friend and partner Julie Malott and enjoyed it a lot and I play pickle with Bobby and Debbie and I love being here and appreciate... And my partner. Yes. Played with Sam. Yes, of course, Sam Barone. I'd like to mention him, Debbie's life partner. We won gold or silver, one of them, and one of the things we were in. It's just fun being here, and I appreciate the time you're giving us. So that was amazing, Gabe. Oh, hi, Scott. How'd you feel when you were watching that? 
I felt good, but I felt I was watching it critically because, you know, you're never satisfied with those. Yeah, um, <laughs> everybody seemed like they were having the best time ever watching that. I would say people certainly enjoyed it. I was watching not only the video, but the faces as well. They seemed to be enjoying, enjoying it. And what's your thoughts about the senior games? I love the senior games. I just love the senior games. Uh, I've been participating in the senior games since I moved here in 2006. Haven't missed a one. Okay, and I've medaled every time. <laughs> Why are they good for the village? They, they're good for the village because they make people get out there and do things. They make people active, okay? But not only that, there's the camaraderie. You saw some of the slides where they came together, they congratulated each other, the great sportsmanship. I mean, I just think it's just a wonderful thing for the village, and I hope it continues, and I hope we get more participants. Yeah, what do people need to do in order to get more involved in, in next year? What's your advice? Um, just pay attention. It's in the Globe. It's available at Recreation. The people at Recreation, Brian and Jennifer and their crew, they do such a wonderful job of promoting this. Uh, it's in the Globe. Um, this is going to be run on TV6, so there'd be plenty of opportunities for people to connect with the Village Senior Games. I think this year's Village Games closing ceremony was amazing. And everyone who participated in the games had a fantastic time. And I think the Village Games epitomized the Thrive spirit that permeates our village. I was only able to film swimming in the 5K run this year, so I'd like to show some footage that I shot that I think will give you a sense of how much fun people have being a part of these amazing games. Good morning, it's uh, Saturday morning. It's swimming day at the Village Games. And we're here to photograph and document so that all the folks at the closing ceremonies can see what we've done. How long have you been taking pictures of the Village Games? My eighth year. What's that been like, Mark? It's been a lot of fun. Uh, and why is it a lot of fun? It's been a lot of fun because everybody gets involved and it's fun to see the excitement in people's faces even if they don't finish or don't win there's still that excitement of participating and that's what the village games are all about and why do you think the village games are important it, it again to me it helps to build a camaraderie among all the village residents it gets people up off the couch out of the house whether they're participating or just coming down to, to watch. Gets people up, out, and who knows, maybe you'll make a new friend. This is uh, my friend Clark Yeager, no relation to Chuck. Are you planning on winning today? No, no plans at all. What events are you uh, going to do today? I think I'm, we're going to do the relay. That's what got us involved. Um, and then I think I'm doing the 50-yard freestyle and 50-yard butterfly, or, or breaststroke. Yeah. Is this your first uh, senior village games? It is. That's going to be a little bit exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. And I'm playing cribbage next Saturday, which I'm really excited yeah. about. Hey, this is my mother, Frances Yeager. Look How at you, you Frances. <laughs> How old are you? Do you mind if I ask? Somewhere. Oh, somewhere. <laughs> I think I've reached 90. 95. <gasps> 95. <laughs> wow. See, uh, I don't pay much attention. You don't. <laughs> no. How long have you lived here? Take a highway. A couple of years. Yeah, that's a different. What was that? Have I been here? About two and, two and plus, two plus years. And you love living here? Yeah, I like it very much. Are you excited to see your son and your, your daughter swim? Of course, <laughs> of course. And about how many years? I've always, I've watched <laughs> them in many different meets. I bet you have, which, who's the better athlete in your mind? A tough question. <laughs> no, I don't know. Between your daughter and your son. Who's, who's the, the best Hall athlete? Yeah. yeah. Well, you both are. <laughs> we knew she'd say that, right? She had to say that. Yeah, she had to say that. We all, we all know best, though. And then uh, introduce your sister. Okay, this is my sister, Elizabeth Yeager Marks now. We always call her Buckets. but yeah. Nickname. And how many events are you swimming today? Buckets? I am swimming the relay, the 100 breaststroke, the 50 breaststroke, and the 25 free. Like yeah. hey, you mind standing up? People well, need to I see. don't know. <laughs> Robert, I'm the swimsuit. No, but just, you're in fantastic shape, right? Is that due just to the swimming? No, I do other sports too. Like what? I play a lot of tennis, and I bike, and I hike. 
So a lot of different Yoga. activities. And how old do you feel? I feel 40. 40. <laughs> I mean, because people would look at you and think, you got the body of a 20 year old. Yeah, that's right. Right? That's right. No. <laughs> you probably hear that a lot. No. You don't? Never. No. Okay, well, I told you. <laughs> that's good. Um, how is living here in the village helping you thrive? I love it. It's been, I've been able to get involved in a lot of activities and it's been a lot of fun. Were you in awesome shape before you moved here? Uh, no. Yes, you were. <laughs> yes, you were. Yeah. No. But it is nice to have everything. It is. Just right a here. Short, short bit away. Yes. What's your favorite thing to do here? Play tennis. Are you good? I'm okay. She's yeah. good. You, sh you can look up the results of the tennis from last week. Oh, and well, one you're... of her partners is here too. You My are... partner's over there. <laughs> How well did you do in the tennis? One mixed, and we got third in the women's doubles. Was it competitive? It was. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. cussing or screaming, though, right? Just... No, no breaking rackets, nothing. It was all good. And are you expecting to win today? <laughs> no. <laughs> She's just to finish, me. just to finish. But you're competitive though, I'm right? very competitive. You're going to give yes. it your all? I am. All right. Do you guys yes. ever race in the pool, you and your sister? Of course. Well, <laughs> you do? We yes, when we, we practice. We swim and work out sometimes together. But I mean... I try and keep up. <laughs> but do you ever like race or like doing a 50 or anything like that? I mean, every once in a while at the end, we'll do something and time it where you try and go as fast as you can. Yeah. Okay. But... Well, so we better go. We gotta it's go. Time, it's time to go. Have an yeah. event. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. We're thriving. We're thriving. You are thriving. We are thriving. Oh, no What's the photo finish? Wonderful. Yeah, I was really, really happy to get from one end to the other. <laughs> Were you excited? I was really excited. In fact, if you noticed, I was breathing calmly and deeply in the beginning because this is my very first competitive swim race. <laughs> How was that, 25? That oh, was great. <laughs> Were you excited? Yeah, heck yeah. It was real exciting. Was your heart pounding a little bit? It's always pounding. Are you kidding me? <laughs> No, it was good. It was a lot of fun. How often do you swim? Uh, about five times a week. How many events are you doing today? Uh, all, uh, all freestyle and, and the relay. Are you planning on winning every one? I plan on participating. <laughs> How long have you been swimming? Oh, my goodness. I learned to swim when I was five. And uh, I'm from South Africa, so there was no age group swimming. When I finished college, I had to stop swimming. And then when I came to this country, it was a 30-year hiatus. And then I started swimming again in 93. And how are the village games going so far? Oh, they love it. Love it. Played uh, billiards yesterday. Came up with a bronze. I uh, hope I get a couple of goals here. We'll see. And you've got a fantastic figure. Is that all <laughs> from swimming? Uh, no, it's hard work. Workout, diet, <laughs> you know, right eating. Thank you very much, though. So it, it takes effort to it look like It takes effort. That. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, in my younger years, it was better. But you know how it is. Everything, everything moves. Gravity changes things. <laughs> how old do you feel? Oh, I feel probably 35, 36. What's your recommendation for people who want to feel 35 or 36? I think that you need to find some activity and do it on a regular basis. Consistency whichever. is Consistency the key, huh? absolutely is the key. You have fun? Oh, always, always. How often do you swim? I just recently started back. Jan's been helping me with my stroke. So uh, that's, you know, it, it had been a while. So uh, Mary's I have a long you. way to go. This Mary is my first day. Fantastic. <laughs> that's not my first day of swimming, but, right. it's, but it's, it's my right? first day on my road back. Nice. What's that? It's good that you came and competed, right? Yes. Absolutely. That's really great. Absolutely. I'm very excited. She's one of my, my swimming students. And she came back, was it three weeks ago? In about three weeks, she started uh, up on Tuesdays with me. And I persuaded her to come and, and enter. And she was gung-ho. Here she is. So I've got a good spirit. That's very inspirational. Yes. <laughs>
Very inspirational. Yes. What do you think of all the uh, teams that are swimming today? All the people who are swimming? Yeah. I've seen a lot of good swimmers today. They've actually even impressed me, and I'm a swim instructor as well as a lifeguard, so some of these people are just amazing swimmers, and I'm really glad to see that they're participating in some events. How was the run? It was a great run. They put it on really well. I was really happy with the security and the route, and everybody was very friendly. Uh, I actually run probably four or five days a week. How, how? That's my thing, my superpower. Your superpower! And were you excited to come in first? Oh, yes, definitely. There was another woman in front of me when we first started out the first half mile, and I thought, boy, my work's cut out for me today, but ended up ultimately doing it. So. What was your time? I believe it was 26 minutes, 20 seconds. Is that good for you? I've actually never run a 5K before. I do the longer races, so yeah, it was good. And how many miles do you run a week, do you count? Uh, yeah, I probably do normally 15 to 20 miles a week if I'm training for a half marathon or a 10K, ramp it up to 25 to 30. And how long have you lived in the village? Almost nine years. Really? How's it helping you thrive to be here in the good woods? It's just a wonderful place. It's actually, I would call it magical. There's so many things to do and so many wonderful people. It's just great. You came in first for the men. Yes. How was that? It was a fun race and uh, I really enjoyed it. How often do you run? I uh, run almost every day. You do? Yes, I do. How far? Uh, on weekend, I usually run 15 to 20 miles. Uh, during weekdays, I run like three to six miles, you know, depending on days. So total weekly mileage about like uh, between 30 to 40 miles. How fast was your time today? Uh, today, I, I did have a watch. Uh, from the second place uh, watch, uh, my time probably is about 20 to 40 seconds. Is that good like. for you? Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good, yes. How long have you lived in the village? Uh, living village for four months, four since months. December 2017. Okay. Yes. You like living here? Oh, yes. Uh, it's a fun place to live, and uh, I can do lots of sports, and I also belong to Yacht Club. Nice. So, yes. So we've got somebody that's 85 years old that did this today? Yes. I don't know if he's in yet or not. Are you having fun? It's a blast. Couldn't think of anything better to do on a Saturday morning. How many people did it take to organize this? Um, we had great help from the rec department and the village games, and it's just going to be great, and it's going to be even better next year. This is the first year, right? It's the inaugural year. How yep. We have the sign up. We had 21, and then we had about 15 walk-ups today, and we're going to get even more. I think we I think ultimately about 40. <laughs> Whoa. want to do this next year. <laughs> what advice would you give if they if they're not quite ready to do a 5k? Come on out anyway. We'll get you going. <laughs>